And look, I did a knuckle swatch, but look how good that turned out. It doesn't look like a mustache this time, so. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a really exciting video for y'all today. This is gonna be on the Wet n Wild Fall 2016 limited edition collection. This is called Autumn Rush. So we're gonna run through the different products. I'm gonna show you some swatches, show you lip swatches of the lip products, as well as swatches on my hands. And yeah, we're just gonna run through the different products. I'm gonna tell you what I think about them, my opinions on them, and just talk about the collection. So let's get to it. So this is a relatively small collection. There are four colored mascaras, four liquid lipsticks, and then two eyeshadow trios, which I'm gonna start with the trios because I'm most excited about those. I love Wet n Wild eyeshadows, and then I really love their matte lipsticks, like the regular lipsticks. So I would've gotten really excited about those in the collection, but they went with liquid lipsticks this time. So. Starting with the trios, this first one is Velour Vixen, and I am wearing these shadows on my eyes today, actually both of these trios, and the only other thing I have is a little bit of bronzer in my crease, so that's really all I did other than these eyeshadows. So here is Velour Vixen. These all swatch nicely. This cream shade is really, really creamy, very buttery. This one built up nicely. On first application of this one, when I was first swatching it, it was a little bit patchy and not super pigmented, but once I've gotten into it more, it is more pigmented. So I wouldn't say it's like amazing, but it's not a bad shadow. So I had to just get into it a little bit, but I really do like this trio. I think it's very fall, kind of Halloween a little bit, and just has like a, I don't know, like a edgy sort of a vibe to it because it's just kind of like red and black and I really like this one a lot. And this one is plaid to the bone. And this one's kind of more of like the blue green, like shifting duochrome sort of trio. I love this one, it's so pretty. So here I have them swatched by themselves and then I'm gonna do some comparison swatches. So as you can see, these two are super pigmented. I have this one on my lid, this one on my lower lash line, both just beautiful, buttery, super pigmented. The blue in the middle though really struggles. Like when I first swatched it, it just wasn't very pigmented. Um, it really didn't build on itself super well. And then now it's getting some hard pan. So that one really just kind of struggles. But the other two are so pretty. I definitely think it's still worth picking up this trio because those are gorgeous. So this one is the one from the trio. And then here I have a lot of comparison swatches. So starting up here, that one right there is from the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. This is Max Club. Then next is Max Blue Brown Pigment. And then Makeup Geeks Insomnia. So you can kind of see them in comparison. So the one from the trio, the Wet n Wild Fall um, Collection trio, that one is way more green. And these are all kind of more reddish brown. So definitely different. So I think you could definitely justify this purchase if you have the Comfort Zone palette or any of those others because it's absolutely different for sure. At least to me, it looks different. It looks a lot more green. And then for the mascaras, these are the Color Icon Color Mascaras. So it says Lush Lash Dramatic High Impact Color, New and Improved Formula. So there are four different shades. The green is green as a thistle. I really like the packaging on these. I think they're very, very pretty. I totally like hulked my way into the outside packaging, so that doesn't look as cute anymore. But I like the actual like mascara. I think it's really a pretty packaging on the actual container. The blue is Sapphire Night Live. Sapphire Night Live. The purple is Glamethyst Rock. That's a really a cute name. Pretty purple there. And then the brown is Unbreakable Bronze. So this is the brown, so kind of a bronzy brown. So I tried to swatch them on my hand so that you could see them here. I do have this one on my lower lash line today and I tried to wear this one on my lower lash line yesterday, but both days I had like something on my lower lash line so it was kind of getting lost in that. Um, really the only one that doesn't seem like it's gonna have quite as much pigmentation is the blue one. But the other ones do seem like they have some good pigmentation um, and some good color payoff to them. Like the purple looks really, really beautiful. This green, like once I kind of got into the mascara, I saw more of it going onto my lashes. So I think it's one of those things that you kind of have to like get the stuff on the brush. And then when it's, once it's on the brush, you can get it on your lashes. You know what I mean? Like you kind of gotta 
get into the container a little bit. So there are those. I think that's fun. And I think that they are appropriate colors for fall. I think they picked really nice colors for a fall collection. And then lastly, the liquid lipsticks. There are four different shades here. So first is Two Tulip to Quit. Super cute name, a pinky color there. This red one is How Fleek Is Your Love. Love that name, that is super cute. This is the one that I'm wearing today. This is Don't Be a Plum Plum. <laughs> I love that too. And then lastly, the super dark dramatic one is Take It Like a Vamp. <laughs> so those are those colors, let's run through those. I'm gonna go out of order and save my lips a little bit because I was already wearing this one, the Don't Be a Plum Plum. First off, I wanna talk about the packaging though really nice packaging. Like this reminds me of Dosa Colors, like it kind of clicks shut. It feels nice and weighty, like really like sturdy, nice packaging to it. So good packaging. Um, the little applicator is like pretty much dead on to the Dosa Colors one. So it's kind of like a um, scoopy doe foot applicator. So it's kind of got like a little, a little divot in there that can kind of hold the product. So I do like this. Um, these kind of dark colors are just kind of difficult to apply anyway because you have to really get it precise. So I did have some struggles, but I don't think that it's necessarily, I don't know how they would improve this applicator is what I'm trying to say. I think it works well. I think it's just the nature of liquid lipsticks. You have to be extra careful. So don't be a plum plum. This is a beautiful kind of like deep burgundy wine color. It's really, really pretty. This one I had to kind of like try to even it out on my lips a little bit. So you do have to kind of like maybe, you know, do a little bit of work there to kind of try to get it even. I find that a lot of times though with these kind of colors, like sometimes that just kind of happens with them. But now that I have it on, I really, really love this color. Um, now let's talk about the formula a little bit. These are a liquid lipstick and they behave like a liquid lipstick. I mean, they... Started out, um, I wore this one and tested it really well for a day. And it started out feeling really nice, like basically just like nothing on my lips. It wasn't super hydrating, it wasn't super drying. I just felt like I was wearing nothing. But then kind of as I wore it, it did start to feel a little bit more on the dry side. You can see I have the little line, which liquid lipsticks just do that. They're either there or not there. So. These do that too, so it started to do that line. And then I went to kind of like try to add a little bit more to even it out and that was not good. It started to kind of get flaky and stuff, so layering it on top of itself didn't work for me, which most liquid lipsticks do that, so that's kind of just the nature of the product. So these are a liquid lipstick. You have to go into it knowing that's the kind of formula that you get with these. Um, it's just kind of the way liquid lipsticks are, and these are another liquid lipstick. but really pretty colors. I do really like this one and it's very fall. And next, this beautiful pink Two Tulip to Quit. This one is just a fun, bright pink, but it has a little bit of like a raspberry fuchsia kind of a feel to it. So I think it can still, I mean, there are no makeup rules, so you can wear bright pink in the fall if you want to. It doesn't matter. But I think that this one definitely has kind of more of a fall bright pink feel to it. So it's still bright, it's still fun, but it has just a little bit of a depth to it. So as far as like what would be maybe more of a fall pink, this kind of moves in that direction, I think. And next, this beautiful warm toned red is How Fleek Is Your Love. This one is so pretty because I think it just has that kind of like fall feel to it again. But I think this would also be really beautiful for the holidays and it's just a gorgeous color. I mean, it is a bright statement, retro red. I feel like my application's not that great, but <laughs> hopefully you can at least get an idea of what this looks like. It's just a pretty kind of retro warm red, so I really like this one. And then holy moly, talk about a dark dramatic lip. This is it right here. This is really dark. This is take it like a vamp. And yeah, you have to take it like a vamp with this one because it is vampy, for sure. And look, I did a knuckle swatch, but look how good that turned out. It doesn't look like a mustache this time, so I guess I'm improving on my knuckle swatches a little bit, but there it is on my knuckle, and it's just a really dark, like, plummy burgundy shade. It's a very, like, blackened 
burgundy shade, but it's more purpley than this one. This one's more on the red side. This is more on the purple side of just a dark vampy lip. I do like these kind of colors. I think they're really pretty. I think they're fun. I think they're edgy and different. So I do love these kind of colors. My personal preference is I prefer to wear these kind of colors in like a matte lipstick where it doesn't move, it doesn't get all over my teeth, but it doesn't do that kind of like dramatic line that a liquid lipstick does. That's just personal preference. I have lots of people that I know that I work with, that I'm friends with, that they don't mind this. Like they love liquid lipsticks and they wear them and they're fine with that. They just kind of make do and check it and switch it out and whatever. But my personal preference is I would have loved if these were lipsticks. But if you love liquid lipsticks and you love these kind of colors, you've got a great option in the drugstore, a super affordable one. They do wear well. Like other than that line, they do stick around for sure. They're very long wearing and fun, fun fall colors, especially these two dark colors. Okay, so those are all the products in this collection. So overall, I think it's a really fun collection. I always look forward to limited edition drugstore stuff, especially Wet n Wild collections. I always get super excited about their stuff. So I still think it's a really fun collection. It's not my favorite one that they've ever done just because I love their shadows and their matte lipsticks the most. So I always get most excited when they have more of those products in a collection, but it's still a really fun one. It's very kind of fall feeling and edgy feeling and a little bit dark. So I really think it's a fun fall collection. So hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you think about this collection. If you have tracked it down and picked up some goodies, what are your favorite things? What are you loving the most? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!